Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Miller Tutorials. Today's going to be a guide for the location Falbafars. And this will show you how to get the last Kagmar's resonance gem that you'll need to complete the trials. Alternatively you could just go to the chart app, but I find this is easier. Now if you're going to watch the build guide, which I've already uploaded, then you'll see that I'm using full drum armor and I was thinking that I might be able to use the unique helmet you can get inside this ruin for the build. Now, once you arrive here, there'll be a few Vikings outside, but I'm sure they'll be easy enough to distract riding your level 21 or above, something like that. So, once they've been killed off, you can just come in here, and it's quite a large ruin, so make sure you come prepared, and that's about it, so let's get inside. Right, so I think there's some more Vikings just in here. seven skills for this particular build, but I do actually need quite a few perks, so I need to be level 51 before we go and get it finished. Ah. Right, so, watch, it effectively allows you to restore stamina as well for healing stuff, you've got rest point, which is quite useful, especially considering how much stamina you'll be using if you're playing with this build. Right, let's see. Uh, oh, Dwarven Sphere Master, uh oh. Actually, I might get my Mark of Death. Whether the steadfast one is there or whether the master might be winning the fight here. Well, never mind, I suppose that's the right answer. So. Okay, let me just see. Oh, um, yeah, okay. So, so I've got a mob that gives you negative modifiers of your hunger and thirsty, so keep checking that every now and then. Right. Now, I'm pretty sure that there's going to be a few traps around right here. Probably gonna be something to open the door, but okay, I'll just pick it now anyway. Ah, uh, okay. I'll give myself ten goes there. It shouldn't take that long though, it's only another slot. There we are. Ah, oh, right. Lydia can have the honor of carrying a scrap metal. Still here. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Uh oh, for goodness sake. So I'll have Wait to carry it then. Right. I recommend saving before you start tampering with any of the buttons though. So. Ah. Ah. Oh, God. Okay, yeah. So saving is probably the right thing to do. Oh, finally! Oh my goodness, this looks... Wow, it's amazing. This is definitely one of my favourite rooms, actually. It's incredible. Did you never really see anything like this in the rest of the game? Okay, right. Let's get down there, then. Okay, so... Oh, no, not extra. Oh, no. I hate these spiders. I'm really overpowered. The oil spiders on the side. There'll probably be a flame one along here somewhere. Remember that, it's actually there because that's the sort of thing that you can miss quite easily. Just down here then. Tell you what. Some more charge onto this. Oh, that's quick. I 
what happened there. Right, this time, I think something probably... Oh, that bastard in there, he probably crept up on me, didn't he? Yeah. Watch out for that, but they do a lot of damage. I'm out of breath, so I already have. In 5% magic, which is still killed me. Pretty really strong. Right. There you go, that's better. I'm with this build, you either do really well or you just die straight away. So I it's probably my fault for not healing enough. So I think what you have to do is just go along these cogs at the bottom. If I can reach them, that is. Oh, looks like there's a platform over here. Then. God. So you have to just mind your step while you're there and don't go up in the water. Oh. Restoration is really good though, isn't it? Check the unique base, isn't it? This is interesting. Ah, uh, I don't like the look of that. Go find a compression base, so I think that will kill me. What the? Okay. Right, so I think we need to go across here. Really cool, isn't it? Oh god. Oh. Again. Running low on oh, oh, oh. the thing is I need to remember that like, follow us and I'll tell us going first, otherwise just die very quickly. Aren't they all masters this time? No. Ah. Oh, wow. Did you see that? That's amazing. No. Ow. Okay, I think that shot's a bit more lethal than that. The worst part is they can actually keep you in sort of a stagger loop. Supposed to be going over there now, aren't we? So, so. Okay. Yeah. 
confuse me without the question or lighting. quite recently I can't quite remember the combination though so maybe I'll just I might just go and look it up first because this is a bit confusing I know this can take ages last one I did it it took me about half an hour I think I made some notes though so So I think I've about figured it out now. Each one of these tonal resonators pops a certain number of these boilers out on the wall, okay? And you need to get 20, but you can't go over, otherwise it'll trigger a trap and it won't open this door at the end. So what you effectively have to consider is how many each one puts out and then try and get them to add up to 20 each time. So starting from the first one, it's three. Four, six, nine, thirteen, eighteen. That means you can shoot this one. It should be thirteen. Yeah. And then three, which is the first one. And then four, which is the secondary one. And that's shaking the game. There we are. That's quite hard to figure out, actually. Um, okay. Couldn't find my notes, so I had to redo that, actually. Um, oh, this doesn't look good. <laughs> yeah, best quick save it. That'd be a bit stupid. Um, Worker. Workers will right because I can generally kill them before they get too close. Okay. <coughs> yeah, I think this is pretty much self explanatory to be honest. Stupid sphere, get out of the way. These. I'm pretty much certain I'll be an automaton in this. Oh no, it's a guardian again. Um. There we are. Be really careful not to fall off though. Probably advisable to quick save before you try any of these. That's like 30 points of shock damage or something. Or 20 points. Just. Uh, I have no idea where we're supposed to be going now. But I'm just going to play it safe. I think we're going to get over there. Oh, 
hopefully this is the way to the last chamber. There are a few spikes in the last chamber. Yeah, grand tour. Okay. Now, if there's any flame spiders, I might be better off with my crossbow because I really, or oil spiders rather. I really don't want to set off the oil spiders. Oh, that was quite cool. God, there's two centurions. Now, there must be something else in here. Um, older. No, you don't, lady. Not too difficult to kill, actually, are they? Older. Look at those oil spiders. They trail fire behind them. Rages. And at least there aren't any flame spiders yet, so. There might be, though. Ow! I don't know why I bothered holding down there, I'm just wasting all my stamina. It's so much more effective to destroy with this shield. There's one more? Yeah, over here. Perfect alley. Really useful. If you haven't already seen my build, I'd then be sure to check it out because this is quite a potent build actually. Really good fun to play as well. A lot of different interesting combat skills. Now, I'm guessing that. Let me just see because I have been through a lot of Gremlin Ruins recently. I might have a Centurion. Well, I don't have one. Let's see. Lydia might. Because otherwise, we're going to have to take these Centurions on. They'll probably be Master Centurions as well. So. No, she doesn't have one. I have so many at my house. I don't know why I didn't bring one with me. Might be more interesting for you to watch anyway. Um, okay. I think we've already got one up there and we've got three pedestals. Let's have a check then. Yeah, we've got um, two up here that need filling. So let's do this one first. I'll stand back and let Lydia and the automaton go in for the kills. Oh, soldier. Oh, damn it, it is a master. God, she's not very bright, is she? It's right there, it's huge. Oh, wow, that's a steam. Steve is horrible. Really overpowered. And if I can kill the kill. Ridiculous amount of damage, isn't it? Oh, wait, he's done 30 this time. Ah, uh, boy. Right, so that's. Oh, game of the count is very nice. Centurion is actually one of the best sources of daybreak, glass, and ebony arrows uh, early on. Although I don't think you can actually get dragon bone arrows until you're very high level. Or so. And right, now they've got both of them. 
I don't know if we'll be able to take the Centurion Diamechorus back afterwards. Because I think they're quite expensive. <coughs> right. There we are. Okay. This is it then. Calcromas Resonance Gem. Mine of gold. Mine of gold. Mine of gold. This is really cool actually. Gold. This must be sort of a treasury then. I don't think I've actually got that enchantment yet. Footage of the sand. That actually has the highest base armor rate in, in the game. If you look, my current helmet is only 76 actually by comparison. And that's legendary and I'm quite good at smithing. In the visage of the sand or visage of the sand is very on pronunciation. Sixty points and steam attack. So let's just have a look at this then. That's really cool. Oh wait, man! It uses stamp. Can I use it while I'm blocking? Wow, that's really good, actually, isn't it? be so useful right okay so I think that's about it for the tutorial now we've got all the character mouse resonance gems we need I can finally attempt the fur trial but I'll probably have to have a look into it before I actually do the video because I really don't want to screw up on it and have it recorded that'd be rather awkward so I think that's everything for this guide if you like the video then please like and subscribe thank you very much for watching and have a nice day